Hello and welcome to Stephen Tries Less. Woo! Yeah. Ha! I'm not alone. I am not alone as I as I chanted out my bedroom window after making love to my girlfriend for the first time. <laughs> anyway, uh, completely unrelated. Um, me and her, that is, I hope. <laughs> Just stay mute. You're a social freak. This week, I am joined by the one, the only, George Clark. Woo! The audience says, who? No, they don't. You are, you are famous, uh, not just for having a name of two great shopping places for back to school, you know, George and Clark's. Oh, true, actually. I've got full monopoly. <laughs> You're just a constant reminder of back to school, which is great for this video, hence my attire. Oh, uh, God, are we doing this video idea? <laughs> how to be... It'll be bleak, don't worry. <laughs> You've, of course, peered twice on the, the main channel. In very minor cameos. We've never served oysters. And on the subject of minors. <laughs> <laughs> and cameo, because uh, I'll be on there soon with Paul Breach. Being in glass, blue, blue sky, better for a party on the day that I... How does it feel to grace, grace a channel which the likes of... Um... Oh, it's gone. Is it? <laughs> Literally just you and your mates that have been on this channel so far. No, Calfreezy and Bazinga. We've had, we've had those two. Why is it creamy? Where's that come from? <laughs> With the tuna fella. Today we are going to be watching a programme I've never seen before. I believe I've starred in it. It's called Age Gap Love. Ooh. Are you familiar? I feel like the, the name sort of is a dead giveaway of what it is. Not quite dead giveaway. <laughs> 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 These videos are all about couples with big age gaps, nice. you know? What's the youngest and the oldest person that you'd go for, Stephen? Okay, so youngest would be <laughs> 24. Oh, would you not go younger than 24? Well, my girlfriend's 24, so I'm just playing that game. If I said lower, that's not her. And the oldest is 24. <laughs> <laughs> and the oldest would be 56 for Selma Hayek. You sold your what? I knew times were bad. Sold my kayak. <laughs> <laughs> not a water sport, Stephen. Anyway, George, you are the young boy to my old man. Um, <laughs> I've told you to stop calling us that. Couples decades apart, but together happily ever after. Surely all of them are just going to be the old guy with the young woman. Yeah. That's always the way it is. I mean, that's it? for everything that's been shown uh, so far. This one's called Brides 23 and Groom 68. Ooh, I Groom's the correct. The ER and Groom there. Nice. <laughs> She's created a new lease of life for me. Bloody hell, was in his Puma tracksuit Puma as well. tracksuit. <laughs> Straight from a foot asylum shoot. Alf has entered the changing room. Why did they get four options of the same picture? <laughs> they went, oh, it's taking it again. It must have gone wrong the last time. See, the genius is with this. We only need one passport now. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to Switzerland and she's going to have you killed. And 45 years apart, but ready to tie the... That's oh, just God. a dad at a wedding. That looks like the father of the bride, doesn't it? Did you see how she went after him? Yeah, there? it was a little... <laughs> It looks like he didn't even want to be part of this relationship. <laughs> and it always annoys me because I was I was a virgin for a long time, guys. No one ever kisses me. <laughs> That's pretty much, pretty much it, yeah. He gets down on one knee, butt naked, and he's like, will you marry me even though I'm naked? I'll marry you because you're naked. <laughs> That's one that you can sort of lovingly tell to the family around the dinner table. <laughs> so how did he do it? He had his cock out. He presented it on his erection. <laughs> his ball back is definitely touching the floor. <laughs> if he's down on one knee. One, two. two. Lancashire. Jeez. I'll shock you, George. I'm from Lancashire, basically. You'll see you walking past film with a sketch in the background. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Eugen, I'm 32. I'm Brian, I'm 32. <laughs> With that nose and glasses, he looks like the guy from Up. It looks like his nose would come off if you took his glasses off. <laughs> One. What? It's good. Awful four. That's as far down as he can get as well. <laughs> no, he'll, he'll be going he's, six he's feet He's fully under stretching him. right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's be done for the day. <laughs> Brian met Eugen in South Africa six years ago when he was sat in a cafe minding his own business. As if she just came over and just ruined his day. <laughs> Mind your own business, lady! <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I'm just a humble pensioner from, from Lancashire. Just by chance, I sat at a table in a strip club. <laughs> <laughs> just by chance, I found myself at speed dating. I wasn't looking for anyone. <laughs> no, there's definitely a spark there. The chemistry is palpable here. <laughs> As she looks off in the distance, I miss South Africa. <laughs> Brian brought Eugen back to the UK, and life could not be sweeter. 
Oh, yeah. I'll keep it going. <laughs> well, I don't know if I like where this is going. <laughs> it's normally not what you expect. <laughs> it's just them two in bed just going at it. Occupado. What? <laughs> they weren't having sex. What? I wanted some full blown shagging. <laughs> Six. Fast moving Brian, who was 66 at the time, decided to ask the then 26 year old Yugen. Wait, you're 27, right? 28. You might be on the older side now these days. <laughs> I know, I'm, I'm definitely in the groomer side. Well, it was a surprise, actually. He said, Will you marry me? I was like, Oh, yes. I guarantee he didn't get down on one knee. <laughs> if he did, he went. <laughs> he just lowered his stand of stair lift as she stood at the top of the stairs. <laughs> Give me two minutes. Will you marry me? Things I'm going to do to you. Having lost all those members of my family, I thought it very difficult. Quick, get the hashtag in! <laughs> <laughs> Having lost all those members of my family, hashtag it, guys, hashtag it! <laughs> to see myself being happy again. This is the home. Have we just moved on there? I've lost all my family. What? I mean, maybe he's forgot the story, to be fair. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Who the f are these lot? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you filming me? Who the f is that in the kitchen? <laughs> Brian brought young Yugen to the UK. Oof. I don't like the way they say brought. Yeah. Like it's, she's, she's in his suitcase. I didn't hear the R in brought. I'm going to be yeah. completely honest. <laughs> How long ago was this? <laughs> Just in customs. Anything to declare? I'm in love. All right, <laughs> go on. <laughs> I'm duty free. <laughs> and has been keen to teach her a few basics about the British way of life. No more of that South African shit. Just eggs, sausages, beans and mushrooms. That's what we're talking about. English breakfast for every meal, love. Get it right. Get it far right. Nugent, if you're going to live here with me, you're going to live by my standards. Brian spent 35 years working with the police in South Africa. Why does this photo keep coming up? Is this like one of the cases he was undercover on? I want to see the other photos on his iPad. Just him with his cock out. <laughs> you just see them on the small little thumbnails. <laughs> just him reclined back naked. A year and a half later, my wife took her own life. Oh, God. Oh, that's the hitter. He clearly was with somebody his own age before, so, like, why all of those people dying do you go, f*** it, are like 26-year-olds now? Maybe it's a daughter thing, I don't know. You lose your daughter, so you want to marry her? Hey, don't ask me, all right? All I'm doing here is mocking a man who's lost all his family. <laughs> Canada. Retirement is not the time to start a brand new family. That is way too much of an age gap. That's illegal, that one. <laughs> and I'm 68. I'm Stephanie and I'm 23. That one is weirder. Can you imagine being like Stephanie's ex and she's now got with this guy? I am 23 years old. I very I'm easily 68. could just put myself into that situation. <laughs> Hold on, George. Very easily. You think you're such a hit with the pensioners, do you? You're so cocky. Thank you. Don't worry, Don. I'll take Stephanie off your hands. <laughs> Don't worry, Stephanie. I'll take Don off your hands. <laughs> now he's with a partner 45 years younger. Oh, that's nice they annotated it so we know what it is. <laughs> baby! <laughs> because you'd see somebody else with a baby, right? And, and uh, how do you deny that? He described it like a puppy. Like, oh, th th they've got a dog. Can I get one? Look at this kid's face. It's f fuming. This old man. Are you kidding me? What have I got? Another three years until you're gone? Time waster. Stephanie keeps everything. She taped the test here. 2018. Okay, so that's so at least four years prior. I think we're looking at 18. They first met when he was a regular, which means she'd seen him oh, many times before no. then. And then suddenly they started speaking. Oh, what, just when she got to 18 <laughs> did you start speaking like that, did you, Don? Oh, what a coincidence. Not. They plan to tie the knot in a small ceremony with family and friends. Well, it's only going to be small. He's not got many, is he? <laughs> I can't wait to see who comes to this wedding. It'd be so obvious to see her friends and his friends. They just have, like, bottles of wine next to a punch bowl. <laughs> I never really wanted kids, and I never really wanted to get married. But when I met Dawn... He forced me. And I had no choice. <laughs> Please help. I hate to be, you know, so mm. cynical, but he must be rich for her to go, yeah, time is of the essence. He's going to die soon. But that's rude. They never planned on it at all, ever. It worked. All those years of going to that pub. <laughs> it worked. My master plan. It finally worked. Oh, is it this week? I reckon he's dyed his hair jet black for this. She's got like a skin fade. <laughs> Comes out with a Phil Foden haircut. <laughs> 
Now you are going to be arrested, dog. Like he's got the best smile in his laugh. I love his laugh. When he laughs and his teeth come spluttering out across the carpet. <laughs> oh, Don. <laughs> I love his sleep apnea machine. <laughs> I love how he frequently wets himself. <laughs> oh, Don, stop wearing beige. I love his Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday medication. Friday has a Viagra pill. Yeah, we like to f <laughs> It was almost impulsively that I wanted to be like, oh, like, I love you. Something's going on. No one instantly falls in love with him. That's so rude. <laughs> look at that. How do I look? Normal. Ugly. Awesome. Thank you. Cool. <laughs> nice use of the Urban Dictionary there, Don. Cool, as the kids like to say. That's pretty hip. I wish I still had my hips. Ever since this couple got together, people have wanted to know... What the f*** is wrong with Don? <laughs> I give him head, like, every morning. Oh, for the love of Christ. Oh, could you not give anybody head? So, what, what, why Don? I've got a cock too, Stephanie. Damn you, old man! Just you, the cameraman. Oi! Look at my winky! <laughs> we would have sex every day. Look at his face. He doesn't remember any of this. I thought we adopted that kid. 72-year-old... <laughs> Uh-oh, back to Lancashire. ...is loving his retirement with his much younger wife, Eugen. This doesn't seem bad at all now we've seen Don and Stephanie. These two I'm, I'm happy for, you know? Yeah, I'm planning to live another 100 years, more or less. Ooh, another man with a plan. Ooh. 100 years, and then I'm out of here. The ripe old age of 172. <laughs> I just want to be pure. But Eugen has had to pay a big price to come to the UK. Well, yeah, she's got to sleep with a 72-year-old. <laughs> Do you like a dusty cock, do you, eh? <laughs> the cobweb's in his arse crack. <laughs> I've shed another layer of skin. Like a bloody lizard, Brian. Sweat like a lizard. I was, you know, a bit emotional, actually, because... I have to leave my daughter. <gasps> no! She left her daughter. What, she went, oh, can my daughter come? Brian went, no! No, it's... She's too young. I was told, <laughs> I was told by a man that that's too young. I want to bring her over, yeah, maybe next year, yes. <laughs> <laughs> She's not bringing that kid over. <laughs> <laughs> he can't have his hearing aid in water, so she, she has free reign at this point. I've always been an impulsive person. I'm... Wait, is she packing her case to run off? <laughs> I can't do this anymore. I just like the idea of all these quirks around the house, like post-it notes for Don. So when he, wake up, when he wakes up every every morning, he's like, okay, live for today. I'm more like, just do it and then decide later. Just do it and decide later. That, that was the rejected Nike slogan. <laughs> I understand that with, you know, going on a night out or something. Not shagging a 68-year-old. My Cornetto, do you want to lick it? But Don is old hat at this type of big occasion. Don's packing all those slow sinking there is. <laughs> I'm sure these have shrunk in the wash. I've uh, been uh, keeping Stephanie calm. I thought that little Mr. Thing was like a G string. <laughs> Don's sexy outfit. His morning head. Do you want to say hello to little Mr.? Don and Stephanie arrive at the wedding venue to meet the registrar for a last minute rehearsal. Follow the post it notes, Don. He walks past the aisle. Everyone's like. <laughs> He just sits down. <laughs> I can't, I can't be standing up for all that time. My mum basically told me that I was not welcome in her house or in her yard. Well, so that implies that when she wasn't allowed in the house, she was just camping yeah, in the yard. She went into the. <laughs> you said nothing. Right, new rule. <laughs> Don's family lived too far away. Heaven is far. <laughs> and sadly, his son, who was at school with Stephanie, has never accepted their relationship. He has 100% had his eye on her from, from when his son was at school. For him to be also be a regular as well as the dad of someone in your year at school, it's like... <laughs> that scene in the in-between is when Will, when Will calls out everyone's underage. <laughs> Just imagine Don at the back of that pub rubbing his hands. 16! 16! Who the f*** is that old guy wanking? At a wait, he's, he's like 70. What? <laughs> if my son turned up at our doorstep or at the wedding, he wouldn't be turned away, no. We'd probably give him a pint or two and uh, hope he had a good time dancing. <laughs> Nothing to do with the son. <laughs> I just want to come on my wedding night. <laughs> As if there's anything left after the morning. Oh, Nelly. <laughs> the big day has finally arrived for 23-year-old Stephanie. It's Don's funeral. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe little mister is his outfit he's going to wear to his wedding. <laughs> Don will be 69 in October and I am 58. Older than his mum. 
Oh, oh that's God. so weird. How could you go for someone older than your parents? <laughs> With Stephanie's age. I thought that was a hell of a is high up. <laughs> Builder's bum. <laughs> no one my age would date me. I've got two bums. This white dress is a nightmare, I'm telling you. I've never seen him so happy. He That's does look quite side. youthful. Look at this guy in the, in the audience. He's clearly looking for a new date. I hope you are as happy to become Mrs. Walper as I am to become your husband. Yeah, he's doing it without his reading glasses. There's his son in the background. I came, Dad. You did good, Dad. <laughs> That's never a good sentence. I came, Dad. I will never take you for granted. Who's this guy? Is that death? Ghost of Christmas present. <laughs> <laughs> and I promise to love you always for always. It's not a big commitment, though, is it? <laughs> Come on. It's basically a university degree. That's what you're doing here. Till death do us part. <laughs> <laughs> Start to stop watching. I now pronounce you... Imagine if at that point she went, I now <laughs> pronounce you paedophile. <laughs> and then and the SWAT team jump out. We got takes him, guys. A, takes a mask off. <laughs> <laughs> it's his son. Woohoo! Oh, I did good work. Woohoo! <laughs> Gets on her knees. <laughs> <laughs> but these newlyweds believe they have everything to look forward to. <laughs> Get him off me! Get him off me, mum! Some missing because of traffic? I don't know. There's a few that didn't make it, but that's okay. Didn't make it as in they couldn't they, find the time or didn't, they didn't make it as in they are just dead. <laughs> a lot of Don's friends didn't make it. It was a cold <laughs> winter. Really cold. Is anyone else really cold? Like, really cold? Yeah. Yeah. Whatever, we're doing our own thing. Yes. Yeah. Very much so. Yeah. Well, there we have it. One of the most weird shows I've ever seen. Thank you very much for watching, and thank you, George, oh, you're for doing uh... videos all wrong, Stephen. That, that's not at the start. <laughs> I've got the Don disease. Where's my blowjob? <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. Uh, the old man and the young boy. Stupid old bin. Check out George's channel. It's fresh. It's hip. It's happening, and he gives his viewers a blowjob every morning without fail. It's yes, ever sloppy, but some are quite good. <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. Stay safe, stay humble, and uh, give it done. Oh, I don't know what I'm on about. Date young. <laughs> <laughs>